Hello, ladies and gentlemen, to this amazing Source Filmmaker video. Okay, so I've been thinking about making one of these ever since I started making animations. Um, some friends wanted to have their know how to what everything, blah, blah, I don't know what everything is. So, this is why I makes no sense, but I am making a tutorial on what I know so far. I may know, like, 70-60% of how to use the whole Source Filmmaker. But I'm going to show you and tell you how to do it, so it's going to be nice. Okay. So I usually want to keep the frame rate at 24. You just saw. Okay, so we're starting off with this. I'm going to tell you what each one of these do. Sorry if this is long, but I'm just telling you it's going to be informational. I'm going to actually say what makes sense <laughs> now. Net for now. All right, so I'm going to load in a map. Right click, um, load map. Let's just do uh, lumberyard. Sounds nice. Load it in. But I'm just going to say some stuff while I'm doing this. So you see the shot? Well, that's obviously where you're going to be. Or that's each section of what you're going to be animating at. Which I will further on later explain. Sound, you. We'll right click and add uh, add a clip, sound clip, which, again, I'll show you. I'm just telling you what's going on before I show you. And the add, that's where you're going to find or get new lighting, get new cameras, get new models, which is obviously the characters you want to have in particle system, which is like, let's say you want a flamethrower effects you're going to want to go to a particle system and then you're going to see an existing elements which if your camera doesn't show up on this then most likely that is uh, a, a, you click on the existing element and then you'll see your cameras there and it will show up here oh and if you're wondering how to do the secondary viewport I'm going to once I edit this, I will probably say what it is. Alright, so we loaded it in, and we click on no camera, and yeah, then you get a work camera. Now, this is not what you're going to be recording with. Uh, well, you can, but it's not the camera that's going to be showing your animation. And, alright, so, I don't think I have an existing, nope. You want to do a new camera which is here and then you want to change scene camera you don't always have to do this sometimes you can, sometimes you can just click this and it'll change to camera one all right so how do i move the camera well you want to go to this which motion editor i'm pretty sure that's what it's called and you want to highlight camera one i'm just saying this so oh click and drag wasd to move around and mouse move around, or look around I should say, and that's basically how you position the camera. You can press shift to speed up, you can use control to slow down, and you can also animate your car your camera to move, which I will go on further later. And yes, yeah, sorry. So here's what I'm talking about anyway. So let's just have the camera there. That doesn't really matter. Dialogue, music, and effects actually are all one thing. As in, there you can add a clip to either one of them, but it just sections out more of your stuff. So if you want to make a complicated animation, you're gonna want to add like, don't don't look at that. See, so you, you saw nothing. That's the stuff. Yeah, Phew. any of those. So, I don't know. Let's just, uh... Yeah, I don't know. Well, it's hard to tell what to do, because it's so big on to tell. Alright, so you don't want to go out here, obviously. And... Hold on. Let's just say it's Freddy posing. And, uh, I don't know. Don't look at that either. I, I do, oh, Skype, go away. Oh, 
yeah, Freddy, Freddy, just, or, dummy, let's see, Freddy, just type in any model, or, this is workshop stuff, uh, you might want to go to this, or if you want to find your stuff easier than just searching through this, or you can find stuff even easier, just type, type it in, that's what everyone does, unless you're just randomly looking for your soul model. No, if you're doing Friday Night's Freddy's animation, don't use this one. That's just an animated Freddy. And no, not that one. Not the Nightmare one. And no, this one's pretty good. Alright, so you might see Freddy's dong, but I'm going to show you why. <laughs> First of all, he's in a reference pose. And hold on. Alright, sorry about that. Alright, so he's in a reference pose, and like I said before, with the camera, the motion editor, you're gonna, let's say, okay, so you press control. And you're going to see all of these. You want to go to Motion Editor or Graph Editor. I'm going to be showing Motion Editor first, not for animating. You can use it to animate, but this, I use this a lot for posing. So, well, let's... Okay. <laughs> so much. Okay, you see this purple-like... Let's... Oh, hold on. Purple-like cube. You want to select that. Control, left-click it. And... Then you wanna do this. I'm sure you've already known about this. I'm just going over everything I know, so don't be complaining. And I'm just posing them a little bit. So it makes sense. And he's gonna. Some models may have the view targets, which you wanna select the transition tab. And then it moves their eyes around. I don't know much about the regular models because I don't use those a lot. And then Death Freddy posed. And you can mess around with this stuff for quite a while. It's a it's cool what you can do to pose stuff in. And uh, let's do an open jaw. And you can. Pose his eyelid to where he's sort of like, oh no, I guess. Eyelid. There we go. That looks okay. Uh, looked a little terrified. Terrified face. And. Oh, yes. Also, if you want to manually do eyes for this, yeah. Just go to eyes and then eyes up and down. You select the slider, do whatever you want. But I'm, I was just gonna say some models have skin. If you want to right click on it, it's just gonna be skin. This makes for Freddy just smoother. The body group is gonna be, or the body groups, sometimes they have just like the name and blah blah blah. They don't usually have anything else. But if you want to go to eyes, there's gonna be. Glow eyes, black eyes, and possessed eyes. So I'm I'm just gonna go glow eyes because basically what this does is add the different eyes, and that's pretty useful. I think you might have to move them manually, cause or maybe not. I'm not sure exactly. I don't know. Let's see. Yeah, you're gonna have to manually move the eyes. I don't use those a bunch, but I don't usually use the eyes because they're usually cushy. But I'm not gonna go much into this because that's basically what that is. Uh, let's say you want to lock something, which is you want to put an item in their hand or a hat on them. Well, Freddy already has a hat, but whatever. Let's do the revolver. I've always had trouble using this. Do the default revolver. You want to go into the uh, motion editor, and you want to select, you want to highlight 
that, or you can control highlight and control look for the bone. So if you want to move a weapon, sometimes there's going to be a trans transform or trans yeah transform, which is the root transform here, which is to move it. But for in this case, it's just the weapon bone which moves that. And just move it over here, over here, and sorry, I've been work on uh, animating for like three hours now. All right, so we got this. Can use this to move around. And pose his fingers. Yeah, it looks okay, I guess. But it uh, looks, yeah, okay, it looks decent. But. If you want to lock it, this is mainly how you want to do this. You want to go to, let's say, the hand, because it's a gun. You want to have the gun attached to the hand. Get the right hands, and then you want to go to weapon bone, which is what you move it with. And you want to drag the hand to the weapon bone, and it's going to attach it now. So if you move it, control, move. He'll move. It's gonna be attached, so it won't move. It'll be together, together forever. So that's how that works. All right, now to animate. So basically, what the motion editor does is, like, if you want to press okay, space is basically playing the thing. So I learned this the hard way, not exactly the hard way, but <coughs> learning this way you wanna do this press space and you can move it around so let's just say Freddy's just doing this it's recording your movements so he's just gonna be like this which isn't very exciting <laughs> but yeah and the more professional way which is the way I do it most of the time uh, well you might have seen Fredbear Nightmare if you've ever seen it is that I had the camera and the lights moved. Well, that was because I was using a motion editor looking around with the camera. And actually, let's move the camera up to his face to animate his face. I'm uh, getting a small idea here of what to do, even though I don't usually do do that. Just zooms in on his face. And... Then, I will move the jaw, just to add some effect. And, what I, if you want to move some kind of body part, like, neatly, unless you're, like, skilled in the mastery of motion editor mouse moving, then I suggest you using the motion editor. But if you're more newbish like me or something like that you want to use this you wouldn't press M which is gonna add a bookmark and what the bookmark is gonna do is it's gonna you want to make two first of all and the first one is where the animation the part of the animation where you're moving is gonna start then if you let's I just put one here well, you know what let's start over let's move, that made no sense okay so I'm gonna add a bookmark here and here. Okay, so the one after is the one who, where you want to move it. So he's gonna be like this. He's gonna he's gonna close his mouth and then he's gonna be like I don't know, make him f move all over the place really weird, like that. So then what's gonna happen is he's gonna do that. Gonna move his mouth in, and he's gonna move like that. 
and then uh, you can use train the transition sort of thing. Uh, by the way, the mouse doesn't do anything; it just shows where it's moving. And it could be like over to here. Oh, you want to press Control Z a lot if you want to master something, because Control Z is the undo button. You can make it move forward, which is gonna look really weird. And that's gonna make him move like that. <laughs> and that's basically it. Um, particle systems. That's. I'm still kind of having trouble with that. I mean, it's easy, but it's hard. It's hard to know which particle you want to use. So, what I did actually was change to TF particles. So. Yours is probably not exactly, it doesn't have this much, but yours will probably, you need to go to here, you're going to move down to like source field bank or your game, you want to go to TF2, or TF, and then particles. That's going to have a lot of the particles you probably want, unless you, uh, Half-Life should have some, Half-Life 2. Particles, they have. But that's what you're at, and then, yeah. And Left for Dead, no, I don't think that has anything. But then that's basically how you find the particles. I'm gonna go back to particles. Let's say. It's gonna be a flamethrower. What you're gonna have choices of the types of particle you have, and let's just say rainbow, eh. flamethrower, rainbow, real, yeah, sure. I'm gonna start here. You're gonna have that, and you wanna select it, and it's gonna, or you should go to motion graph editor. Now, this is where you might get confused a bit. But basically, just set it here. Let's say, let's get the work camera because it's not going to be exactly perfect. Because this thing you're moving around will not be where the particles will not be where you're moving it. You want to reset it over to here out of the timeline because then it's not going to show. See, it's over here. It's over there. So basically. Let's just say it comes out of his mouth. <laughs> That's pretty good. But you want him. Oh, wait, does it perfectly? It does perfectly. Okay. Alright. Well, that's. I learned something new today. Let's sort of move it over there. And move it all around. Let's just move it over here. I'm still kind of noobing around right now. <laughs> see what's happen what's gonna happen. Let's see. Let's reset it. Oh yeah, that's beautiful. I wanna move it over. But they will not always be perfect, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> that's just the most fabulous thing you can get. Thumbnail right there. <laughs> Alright. Well, that's, that's your fabulous creation. You can also also lock the particle system with a body part. So, I think you want to use control plane and transform. You can always use both as well. So, don't get too pissed off. You can always lock it onto the revolver part, which is why there's other points of the revolver. Like, you'll see here. You're gonna see the bones, the different bones. Well, those are there because if you want to add a particle effect, you're gonna have to lock it on that part, or just move that part of the weapon. Let's see. I gotta think here. I wanna cut off some some stuff I haven't covered. Oh yes, moving on camera, so that's, or er, the camera and the lights work the same, so I wouldn't worry about the lights yet, so.
camera. All right. So you want to be on the motion graph editor, unless you want to be down a fancy smancy and do that. You want to do? Oh, I just I already showed you this. What am I All right. So I'm going to show you a demonstration of the light. Oh, that's not the light, but new light. And so you're going to see Freddy all lit up there, but. <clears throat> Drag the lights to whatever camera you want. And, yeah, it should highlight it. And then you can basically do this. So, you, Freddy is on fire. He's like the most fabulous leprechaun ever because he's barfing out rainbows. Not sure how leprechauns bright up, but whatever. Hmm. You can also change the color. Okay. Well, that's what that's gonna do. Also, is just put on and off, as you can see. Intensity. Just yeah, it should pretty much explain it. Do that because it looks fabulous. Ambience intensity doesn't do much. Unless you want to make it something. Specific, but all right. Oh, and if you want to make it sort of come down, I guess <laughs> make a streak, I should say. Enable volumetrics and reset. And look what that's gonna do. I can do that. Now, I don't want volumetrics because it doesn't exactly look down or right. But also, you can, like I said, you could change the color. It's not going to be exactly good, but you want to mess with it around. So that's purple, blue, you can mess around. It's orange. Yeah, it's brownish. Oh, it's pretty red. There, that's okay, I guess. So we have Fabulous Freddy doing that. Alright. Oh, yes. If you want to make the camera shake, which took me forever to figure it out. Figure it out. Figure out. You want to... Go to transform, I'm pretty sure. Yes, transform. And you want to take these down. Do that. Basically, what I'm doing is I'm making it into one bit. Two. So it doesn't go over the limit of what you want it to do or whatever. Alright, so we want to do, let's have a jitter a lot, <laughs> so I can show you what I really mean. It's going to do, <laughs> it's going to do that, well, but then it cuts off, so there you go. Which I like it, it's going to look more weird. Oh, there, don't look at that. Not very professional, but you know what I mean. Alright, if you want to smooth that out, curve the edges of this, the graph, you want to do smooth. I'm just going to smooth that out, but it's still going to be kind of jittery. Yeah, there you go. That's basically what you do. And you can always cut it off. Oh! This is some vital information. You want to press B, so I don't like it exactly here because it's where it stops the fabulous. -ness. Press B. It's going to blade slash cut in half or whatever you want to call Cuts the clip, which I can then delete this clip with the delete key or cutting. Press right clicking, cutting. Right, blah, blah. Uh, but yeah. And if you see this black thing, it means because you're not extending this enough. You should figure out. Alright, and you want to shorten this to your, the point where you're kind of done with it. So this is going to be my whole thing. <laughs> I gotta say, this is the weirdest animation I've made. Alright, so now I want to bother about this because I still have no idea. Well, it's more complicated to make text. This is basically just adding text. 
which I say I'd rather use the editor, the whatever movie editor you're using, video editor, um, yes, that is right, alright, so you want to double click this, if, I don't know, uh, what the heck, if you're looking for, alright, hold on, because this has bugged me for a while, basically what I'm trying to show you is, can I extend this? I don't know if I can. The hell. Okay, whatever. Basically, you see Freddy here. You're all right. Sometimes there's okay. You're gonna see the Freddy one. Sort of here, and then you're gonna. It's gonna cut off maybe, and you're maybe wondering why can't I animate this guy anymore? He's stopping. He's not moving at all. Sorry, <laughs> he's not moving at all. But uh, basically, you're gonna see Freddy, and if he cuts off, you wanna expand that. And I don't know why Valve, Valve even included that. It it's really annoying. So be sure to do that. Be sure to do that with anything else, like it's Bonnie or any model, any model. That's how you do it. All right, so. If you need to comment on anything, then tell me in the ugh, comments, of course. And I will redirect, redirect you or either make another video for you. Just do it soon, because, yeah. <laughs> Alright, so I'm going to save this. And if you don't know how to save, you should. You want to go to exports, movie, yes, save, or if you don't, you know. Now, I suggest getting QuickTime because QuickTime um, adds more choices like an MP4 is the best one AVI is not the best and do movie those basically and 720 you don't want to unless you want to make it super bright you want to adjust the gamma sport movie and it's gonna do this and well, that's gonna go on. I'm gonna show you once it's done and wherever this is going. Oh, yeah, that's also something I need to tell you about. Where you find your screenshots for it and where you find your movies. I'm gonna show you that right now, actually. Okay, so go to your program files. I'm on Windows 8, but it's it's, it's the same for everything. Go to this PC if you want to. If you already know where I'm going, uh, Proman 86, which is where you're gonna find, you're gonna find Steam. Steam, I don't know where mine is. I should have it here somewhere. Steam, Steam, sorry if you've seen it already. <laughs> what the heck, where is it? Um. Oh, I completely missed it. <laughs> Sorry about that, mates. You want to go to Steam Apps? You want to go to Common? Sorry if this is way different than yours. I accidentally clicked some buttons. And you want to go down to Source Filmmaker, Game, User Mod. As elements, elements, yes. And sessions is the recordings, and renders is the <laughs> renders is the posters you made. I just I'm gonna look at this. <laughs> well, there's what I was. Yeah, that was pretty bad. But anyways, this is all of my sort of, I guess, stuff, tutorial, alright, so this is my animation, it's gonna come up, it's not, just remember, what what's on the screen of your, of SFM is not gonna be what, what it finally looks like, so, it's gonna look much smoother in the actual video, 
This is ridiculous. It's just so ridiculous. And no, I'm not showing you the record button in SFM. Oh, if you want to get back, press that arrow. I'm not showing that because no one uses it and it's not very professional unless you want to make sort of action y thing and then you want to edit in some stuff. I don't use it, I don't know much about it, so. Yeah. And there's your magical video. Hope you like this. Please subscribe. Please check out any more of my videos. And if you need any help, comment and I will fix it. Goodbye.